Time to make a masterpiece together. Now this one's going to be a freestanding tool cabinet. It could be for anything. It's going to be almost seven feet tall and just the right size. And these are going to be the live edge doors that we used a track saw to create that effect. And we're using special hinges, all that's very easy as long as you have the right wood. And all this is air dried. You can tell that on walnut, which all of this is, because of the sapwood contrast. If that was kiln dried, that sapwood bleaches out the brown color and it mutes down the contrast. I like air dried wood. All this has a moisture content right around 8%, which is going to mean that it's going to be nice and stable. Now look at this slab. This came from uh, Dave Mosier's place, the urban sawmill. These were going to go to the compost pile, these slabs of walnut, and I paid Dave straight through two bucks a foot for this. Urban forestry works. We need to recycle. Now, if you look at that piece right there, it's nice and heavy. It's almost an inch and three quarters thick, and we need that because Honestly, we need that stability to make this narrow base stable. And then I'm going to bring this one over here. And you look at these pieces. These are going to be the sides of the cabinet. And of course, we're going to have a secret storage place. But look at that. Isn't that awesome? So let's get to work. We're going to use a track saw to process the case first. Tall case work. Let's get busy. Oh, boy. 